Is it possible to lose your love handles or are you stuck with them for good? It's definitely one of the toughest areas to lose fat from, but when we break it down, it's actually pretty simple. No starvation diets, no gimmicks, just science-backed steps that work. Today, I'm breaking down five easy steps that'll not only get rid of them, but keep them off for good. Step one, we need to understand why we have love handles. Firstly, let's be real. Your love handles did not show up all overnight. They're the result of overeating over days, weeks, months, or even years. And when we eat more calories than we burn, our body stores those calories as fat. And it's usually right around the abdomen. Men in particular tend to store fat here first. And for women, this becomes even more common after menopause. And here's the kicker. It's really annoying. However, the places that you gain fat first are normally the places where you lose fat last. That's why areas like the belly, lower back, hips, all feel really stubborn when it comes to losing fat. But don't stress, fat is fat, and with the correct approach, it will come off. The key is understanding the process and playing the long game. Look at my client Ben, for example. Years of overeating left him with the majority of his fat around his belly, which is really not ideal when starting off. But over time, we chipped away at it, kept him consistent, and let the fat come off where it decided to come off from first. And then, over time, that stubborn belly fat had been replaced with a chiseled six-pack. Pretty impressive. Then it's also a great example of not rushing your diet or calorie deficit. This transformation, it took time. If we pushed him too hard, too soon, we would have failed. And it's easy to drop your calories right down, starve yourself, and see the scale decrease. But that is only temporary. We need long-term results every single week. And for this to happen, we need to feel good and not be starved every single day. So now that we understand why we have our love handles, we need to get into step two. And that is about nailing your nutrition. You've heard it before, to lose fat, you have to be in a calorie deficit. But here's the catch, it won't target your love handles right away. Your body will likely burn fat from areas like your face, chest, arms, way before the love handles. But eventually, the fat will come off in that area. A manageable calorie deficit, I'd say around 500 calories per day, which allows us to lose around one pound of fat per week, is the sweet spot for most people. So you need to find your maintenance calories and decrease that number by five. 500. The goal is sustainability, not burnout. To find your fat loss starting point, go to the calorie calculator that I've put in the description below. Once you've input your information, it'll give you a starting number. Remember, decrease that number by 500 and that is your starting point for this diet. But please do not go bigger than this. Do not go bigger than 500. If you pull, let's say, a thousand calories out of your diet straight away, I promise it will fail. I've seen it way too many times. Out of the thousand people that I've coached over the last decade, the ones who fail are the ones who think that they can cheat the system. But you can't trick the body. It will respond to the environment that you put it in. So remember, if you put it into an environment that is too harsh and your body, it will let you know. And your well-being and your willpower will start to drain. So now we've found our fat loss starting point, we need to get into step three, which is lift weights. Lifting weights won't directly burn fat off your love handles, but it is essential for two reasons. One, building muscle in areas like your shoulders, your back, your chest, creates the illusion of having a smaller waist. And secondly, it protects your metabolism. When you're in a calorie deficit, the body doesn't only burn fat, but it wants to burn muscle too. So if you're lifting weights, you're doing everything you can to retain that muscle mass. Remember, what builds muscle best will retain muscle best. And having less muscle on the body means having a slower metabolism too. If you have a higher amount of muscle mass on the body, you will burn more calories doing nothing. And as you can imagine, this really helps your fat loss diet. So even a minimal amount of weight training will work. Three to six hard sets per week per muscle group is enough to retain your muscle mass. If time's tight and you've got a busy schedule, try your best to stick to maybe three weight training training sessions per week and put the rest of your energy into the next step. And if you are struggling to figure out your training and you're tight on time, I've built an in-depth three day a week training program for you to download for free. There's a link to it in the description below. It covers everything, exercises, sets, reps, technique descriptions, intensity techniques, everything you need for a solid training plan. So give it a go. But as I said, if you've only got three days a week to weight train, you need to put your effort into this step next, which is step four. 
and that is cardio. Cardio gets a really bad rap, but it is a powerful tool for creating a calorie deficit. The good news is it doesn't have to be miserable. It's that simple. Track your daily steps and start gradually increasing those steps by 1,000, 2,000 per day so that you're working your way up to 8 to 10,000 steps per day. And that alone can make a huge difference. I'd say steps are the most undervalued tool in the fat loss toolbox. So if you're not tracking steps currently, make sure that you definitely follow this step. And if you want to add more or if you need to add more, pick something that you enjoy from extra walking, swimming, cycling, playing football. But whatever you do, aim for 20 to 30 minutes of this cardio style. And if you do it two to three times per week at the start, I guarantee you will see instant results. But not only that, it'll be fun. Your motivation will be high to stick to it. So therefore, the result will be a lot better. Remember, you've got to make cardio work for you. There's nothing worse than being bored out your mind, counting down the minutes and wanting to get off the cardio early. So make it fun, make it enjoyable. So that leads us into step five, and that is adjusting your plan calories when you hit a plateau. As you lose weight, your body begins to burn fewer calories. Your metabolism adapts. It's just how it works. So when progress stalls, and it will, so don't panic, you've got two options. The first option is reduce your calories slightly per day. I'm talking around 100 calories for this. You can push to 200 drop per day. So I'd say anywhere between 100 to 200 calories dropped per day is the sweet spot. It's small enough of a change that you don't become too hungry, but it's big enough that you actually continue to lose fat. And if that option isn't for you, we've got option two, which is increase your activity. We could look at adding an extra 20 minute worth of cardio into your week, or we could go even less complicated and just increase your daily steps even more. So if you are in that eight to 10,000 range, maybe you need to be in that 10 to 12,000 range. The goal is simply just to burn a little bit more. And these small changes are exactly what will break you through any fat loss plateau. If you follow these two options, I guarantee you will burn fat for as long as you need to. So I'm going to come into my final bonus tip, and that is knowing when to stop your diet. And here's the truth. Getting rid of your love handles means getting very lean. And for most people, that level of leanness is tough to achieve and definitely tough to maintain. But what I would say is that it's always worth it. It's easy to get hyper focused on some of your progress but then forget the rest of the progress that you have made so take a step back celebrate your wins you don't need to be shredded to look great and be healthy and if you want some personalized help to get rid of your love handles and finally get the body you want to click the link in the description below so guys thanks for watching the video if you like the video be sure to give it a like and if you want to see more fat loss content like this then maybe consider subscribing to the channel I've, i put out around two videos per week but for now, I'll see you all in the next one.